When you really break it down, I think the ultimate thing that really proves that your yo-yo trick is the absolute best, most incredible yo-yo trick is really how just hyped the crowd gets, right? I mean, like, if your trick is amazing and your crowd doesn't just, like, explode, it's not really a yo-yo trick worth doing, right? Josh E with Not Creators here. Thank you once again for joining me in today's video. The topic that is up for grabs today is a very special topic that's near and dear to my heart, mostly because it's something that I uh, can't really say that I've really contributed to, but you know, that's just me. But today's topic is we're going to be counting down the top 10 most insane, crazy yo-yo tricks that have ever been landed on stage. So really, this was probably one of the hardest videos I've ever had to make just because there are so many incredible tricks and it's really hard to just sort of pinpoint only 10 to kind of put together and say that these are the best that have ever been done in contests. And it's just, that's, that's like pretty much impossible. But this is my own personal list of tricks that I've seen throughout the years, kind of going throughout the modern contest yo-yo era and the tricks that I really felt just really stood out as being things that were just kind of mind-blowing, things that we didn't think were possible, things that we just know have this insanely high level of risk to them that people were actually able to land successfully on stage in their freestyle. These are tricks that people would largely talk about for many, many years to come, but also there's some tricks mixed in that I think a lot of people might not have realized just how difficult they were, and I wanted to highlight those today as well. So we're not going to waste any more time, we're just going to jump right into this list and we're going to start it at number 10. And number 10 goes to a trick from Mr. Augie Fash from World 2005. So being largely the first contest that people had seen Augie compete in since his Nationals win in 2004, this was a very significant freestyle. And Augie definitely didn't hold back when he released a ton of crazy bangers big tricks, really fast tricks, and just a really amazing freestyle where he put all of his hard work together in this really kind of clean way. He also was implementing his new style of hat tricks into this freestyle, and one hat trick in particular was one that totally blew away the audience, and that was his hat trick at the very end of his freestyle. This trick was incredibly hard to land, and he had actually attempted it earlier in the freestyle, which didn't really quite work out. But the fact that he was able to come back at the end and actually successfully complete this trick and land it right at the very end of the freestyle song in the perfect, perfect execution was just incredible. And as you can see, people in the audience loved it and just exploded. Moving right along, we are going to jump into number 9 on this list. And we're actually going to take this all the way back to the year 2001. Yeah, definitely going a little old school here, but still, this is a freestyle and a trick that is just absolutely incredible and mind-blowing for that era, as well as the era that we have today. Number 9 is going to a trick by Jason Gallagher from West Coast Regionals 2001. Jason Gallagher is definitely a character when it comes to the yo-yo community, and he really just kind of threw people off a little bit when he realized that he was going to have to freestyle in silence. Largely because at that point, Better Off Alone had kind of gotten banned from the contest because everyone was using it and people were just tired of it. So he just kind of fully freestyled a freestyle to random drum beats in the background and someone actually singing Better Off Alone. As well as just having some kind of playful back and forth banter with people in the audience. The crazy moment comes at the midpoint of Jason's freestyle where he decides that he would try to utilize the chair stand that was off to the side of the stage to see if he can actually land some tricks on this thing. And amazingly, he did. <laughs> so amazingly, he ends up landing a perfect 5A catch trapeze on this chair stand, as well as being able to land a sleeper, and for the absolute banger of all these tricks, he manages to land a double or nothing mount off of these chairs. <laughs> Yeah! I think he was probably just as shocked as the audience was that he was able to land those and he ended up kind of running out of tricks and decided to end the last minute of his three minute freestyle with a long sleeper. And really this is just a true testament to what kind of character Jason Gallagher was. 
We're gonna jump now a little bit more into the modern era with number eight. And number eight's trick is gonna go to the incredible Lo Yi Cheng for his freestyle from 2010 Worlds. So Lo Yi Cheng is definitely known for taking huge risk and probably being one of the highest risk 1A players in all of yo-yo freestyle history. His suicide combos are definitely known by many as well as a lot of his insane like Asian pop tricks and other tricks as well. But really, his opening trick for Worlds 2010 was absolutely mind-blowing. Oh. Being able to lace all these suicides together in one continuous flow was just crazy and the audience just went wild for it. Even though this freestyle wasn't a very high placing freestyle, a lot of people will remember it just because of that one combo for Lo Yi Cheng's opening. We're gonna go over to Japan Nationals for number seven, lucky number seven on our list. And this trick goes to Masakazu Yamasaki, also known as Maraka. During an era where a lot of 2A freestyles were really fast paced and done to like super hyper fast Eurobeat, Maraka really just kind of brought out something different with this as he decided to do this freestyle to a slower song from Bump Up Chicken. Now, this was really unique for its time because not only was it slow, but he also presented an entirely new trick set with really weird and kind of out of the box thinking raps and body raps and just really crazy contortion-y kind of tricks. And while a ton of these tricks could definitely be highlighted as really, really difficult tricks, the thing that really sealed it for me was the trick at the finishing of his freestyle, which is a double behind the back, leaning back vertical loop, which I don't even know how one gets their arms to cross so far behind their body like that, but clearly he's a contortionist and I have never seen anyone be able to successfully pull off a trick like this, ever. Now we are going to jump into number six on our list, and this time Staying in Japan Nationals, we are going to Japan Nationals 2014 in the 5A division, and we're going to take a look at a trick from the legendary Takuma Inoue. So really, I think a ton of Takuma Inoue's tricks could have been in this list, but this one in particular just really stood out to me, and that would be his horizontal combo right here. <laughs> So this horizontal combo really combines a group of his most difficult horizontal tricks and concepts and puts them into one complete trick. And to be able to hit this cleanly is just absolutely insane to me. Really just his presentation with it just kind of amplifies just how difficult this trick is. And really it is one of the cleanest and most impressive tricks I think I can say I've ever seen in the yo-yo contest world. And now we are in the top five most incredible tricks of all time for the freestyle stage. We're gonna start at number five now, and this time we are going over to the World Yo-Yo Contest, and pretty recently, just Worlds 2019, we're going to the four division, and we're gonna look at a trick from the legendary Hajime Miura. So I don't really need to spend much time talking about just how significant this freestyle from Hajime is because really I think everyone after this contest was talking about this particular freestyle everywhere over and over and over again and just highlighting every little aspect of it. But what I really want to focus on is one trick in particular and that is his chain reaction anti-spin back burner throw. Anti spin chain reaction is already like a really crazy trick in solo ham, and the fact that he's able to do multiple of them immediately into this back burner throw, which let's face it, no one even thought you could do a back burner throw with solo ham involving both yo yo's. That was absolutely unheard of. The fact he was able to land this cleanly into a catch is just incredible, and the level of difficulty for this trick is just beyond me. We're gonna move into number four on this list. Now we're really widening down. And this time, we're gonna highlight that amazing player from Brazil. That's right, it's Ricardo Maracal for his Worlds 2012 1A freestyle. 
So Ricardo has probably one of the most unique trick sets in competitive winning play, really just involving all parts of his body. And something that he's definitely known for is the fact that he's able to involve his foot for like suicide catches. But the one that really just blew everyone's mind away and is totally unexpected was the suicide catch he did at the end of this freestyle, which is done in a true like martial arts MMA kick style. And he catches it in the most incredible ending to the freestyle I think we could have ever seen and expected from Ricardo. <laughs> Really though, like, that flexibility and that balance, I don't understand how anyone gets that. <laughs> it's time for the top three most incredible tricks of all time. So the top three for me, while the rest of the list was kind of difficult, I think the top three were definitely a little easier for me because even at the beginning of deciding to build on this topic, I had three tricks that were already in mind that I knew would probably be somewhere in the top three. Number three in the list, we are going to look at the incredible player who can only be known as the human highlight reel. Thank you, Cheng. We're going to Japan Nationals 2018 to look at a trick from Takumi Hakamata. A player who has tons of tricks that could have been on this list and choosing just one of them would be really difficult. But the trick I wanted to highlight here was towards the end of his freestyle. And while this wasn't one of his cleanest freestyles, the fact that he was able to hit this crazy regen combo is just insane to me. The level of difficulty of this trick is just insane, and the amount of precision needed to land it is just intense to me. To be able to hit that reverse back into like a normal open string whip and then doing the overhead whip is just absolutely crazy. Like, I didn't even think a trick like this would be possible. And to me, this is just easily one of the big tricks that I highlight for the human highlight reel. All right, guys, this is it. We're going into the two big dogs right now. And we're gonna start it off with number two. And this time, we're actually going a little bit back in time. And we're gonna look at a freestyle from 2005 from Daisuke Shimada. So Daisuke is probably one of the most legendary 3A players of all time. He's had multiple 3A division wins at Worlds, as well as just being a huge innovator in 3A style. This freestyle was one of the first contests where he decided to unveil a trick that everyone knows as Sword Dancer. He pulled this off at the end of his routine, and really, Sword Dancer is just one of those unapproachable tricks that very rarely people actually give it a go. A couple people have tried, but really no one has been able to hit the amount of cleanliness and just the absolute just style that Daisuke is able to pull this trick off in. This trick was groundbreaking for its time and groundbreaking to this day, and easily one of the most highlighted tricks I think we can say we've ever seen in your history. I know you guys are all super excited for who's gonna be number one on this list, but before we get to that, I do have a couple honorable mentions I would like to highlight. We have Sean Perez's whip catch combo from World 2012, which to me is just absolutely insane to watch. And you can even tell that Sean was kind of surprised he was able to land this on stage as well. Nationals 2013 for a 2A freestyle from Yoshi Mikamoto. Yoshi Mikamoto is someone who's very well versed in all five styles of yo-yoing, but in his 2A freestyle this year, he managed to pull off a pull tangler with a clean exit. And for those of you who don't really understand what happens in a tangler, it's very, very difficult to do a pull tangler and be able to tell where that point of exit is, because if you exit the wrong way, you're basically gonna have just a crazy tangle. So really, this is a 50-50 by chance trick that you would even be able to land this and Yoshi was able to hit this clean. I don't really know how he was able to do that. Worlds 2005, Mr. Ryan Lai from Hawaii was able to pull off this incredible 5A mixed with 4A regen. And really this is just a very unique trick for its time and even for today because not many people really have delved much into the idea of combining 5A and 4A. But Ryan was able to do that and he was able to pull off this regen, which is just absolutely insane. 
Next we have a trick from Mr. Kevin Nicholas from California States. This trick is absolutely crazy to me, it's something I never would have thought of doing, but it is a sideways horizontal Mobius hoopla that he then puts over his neck and then does freehanded. Like, I don't know how he even thought of this trick. This is probably one of the biggest bangers I've ever seen and just absolutely insane to watch. And finally, our last honorable mention goes to Kazuaki Sugimura from Japan for his 2006 Japan Nationals 4A freestyle where he lands a variety of really insane whips, but this crazy elbow release whip is just absolutely insane to me. And keep in mind that at this time he was still using hyper freehands and freehand zeros for off string. I know, that's just insane. We have finally reached the end of this list, and despite all of the wrestling that I did with a lot of the other choices on this, to me, from the start, there was really only one trick that I could think of to be the number one trick on this list. It really just exemplifies everything in difficulty, in just how high the amplitude of the trick is, the audience reaction, just everything into one really just solidifies this trick as probably the all-time craziest and most difficult trick I've ever seen landed on stage. We're going over to Japan Nationals 2017 in the 5A division, and we're having a trick from Yua Sakai. Yua Sakai is definitely just a really experimental 5A player with some really crazy concepts, but at the end of this routine, Literally, his finishing trick after all his other crazy tricks was an insane double 5A trick that just blew everyone's minds. The absolute level of skill it takes to land this trick is just beyond understanding to me. This was just a trick that seemed like it would never end and you just wanted it to go further and further. And just the amount of amplitude and skill and variance in this was just something that no one had ever thought was possible. Even though Yua was not able to successfully catch the second yo-yo, to me this trick is just still the highest level of difficulty that I could ever imagine to be possible. Note that he did actually hit this trick clean for the trick exhibition later on and ended up winning most extreme trick award. But in the end, to me, this trick is just absolutely insane and definitely deserving of that number one spot. All that said, we did it. We made it through the top 10 list as well as our honorable mentions for the hardest, most insane, and craziest tricks ever landed on the contest stage. So I'm definitely curious on you guys' thoughts. Do you think that I was able to cover every trick that would be considered the hardest tricks in modern contest history? Leave a comment below and let me know of some other ones that you think I might have missed or you could also leave comments on the ones that I highlighted and give your thoughts on those as well. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And stay tuned for more videos in the future. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.